guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex. We're here to get Shupin's best ending, so I'm working on my charm so I can be really charming. And it looks like our boys noticed because we've gotten some new dialogue here in the common room. Uh, hey Rosie, you changed your hair, right? It really suits you. Ah, oh, thanks. I'm surprised you noticed. I only gave the ends a little trim. Huh, well, you seem to change quite a lot, but uh, you always look good. I just figured, you know, I'd tell you in case you thought no one had noticed or whatever. Ah, oh, well, thank you. I guess all that time I spent making myself up in the girls' toilets wasn't in vain. Ho ho! Especially if Mr. Shupin Mashala noticed me. What's in the mail? Do I have any new mail that I haven't read before? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I shall bring you in when there's another new scene then, guys. Alright, we got a new date because this is a movie that we haven't seen yet with Shupin. Because we've been watching High School Musical <laughs> all this time. But I think he would like 31st Century Cops 3 Return of the Sergeant. It's a no hold bar thrill ride as the infamous trigger happy duo blast their way back onto the silver screen and face their biggest challenge yet as they hack, slash, and flamethrow their way through Neo Shanghai in search of a corrupt robot senator. Oh, you're into these too? Yeah, yeah. Of course. The cop series are the absolute pinnacle of mindless action movies. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. The second one wasn't so great. I hear they've really pulled out all the stops for the finale, though. I don't know. 31st Century Cops 1, Bobby's on the beatdown, it'll be hard to top. <laughs> Bobby's on the beatdown. So, what's the verdict? Huh, I don't know. You can ramp up the special effects all you like, but I just don't think it had the heart of the other films, you know? Not even the part where it turned out that the robot senator had only turned to extortion and murder to provide for his robot wife and children and a poignant use of hard-hitting social commentary? I'm pretty sure that was just Oscar bait, to be honest. I don't know what you're on about. That was a tearjerker if I ever saw one. It sounds absolutely heart-wrenching. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll continue stat building and bring you in for another scene then, guys. Okay, well some time has passed and I don't know what the scene is. It might be a new, completely new scene. Hmm, looks like I've got two free periods today. Not that there's much to do, everyone else is still in lessons. I guess I could try the music room? There shouldn't be any lessons in there now and I'm sure my piano's missing me. It's worth a shot at any rate. We could try. Hmm, doesn't sound like there's anyone inside. And now's as good a time as any to practice my scales and my arpeggios, right? Scales and your arpeggios. I'll just... Ah, crap! I forgot these walls were soundproof. I guess there's someone in here after all. I wonder if they'll notice me if I just hide behind these boxes for a while. I really can't be bothered going back down to the common room. Miss Chahan. Uh-huh. Let's try that once more from the top, Shupin. And watch your posture this time, hmm? Uh, yes, miss. Uh... Aw, he's playing the violin! Ooh! Man, a man of many talents. Wow. I didn't know Shippen played the violin, too. He really is amazing. And this sounds beautiful. He doesn't exactly seem too happy about it, though. I wonder if practice isn't going well. Not that I could tell a good performance from an awful one. Watch your fingering, Chopin, and crane your arm a little more towards me. That's better. Mm. I think that'll be enough for now. Uh, sorry, miss. I think I'm just kind of tired. I'd say that was actually rather impressive, Chopin. A little rough around the edges, but I don't think your musical ability is something you should be overly worried about at this point. Uh, really? Not that you won't need far more practice before May rolls around. They'll be watching your every move, you know, so you'd best tighten up that posture of yours before then. And your technique is rather sloppy, though the sound is excellent. I definitely recommend bumping up your practices to three times a week, at least. 
Uh, well, I do really want to. It's just that, you know, with schoolwork and the work I do at the shop and everything, it's kind of hard to fit it all in, you know? Hmm. And how's the maths coming along? Uh, well, that's... kind of a work in progress. Aw. Oh. I know it can be easy to get disheartened after failing so many times, but it really is important that you get that, Chupin. They may be a music school, but you're not going to get into Glasgow. Not in a scholarship, at any rate. Without GCSE maths, at least. They are a university, after all. I hear Mr. Trafford is running deep drop-in sessions after school. Why don't you give them a shot? You've got nothing to lose, really. Uh, yeah. I'll try, I guess. Well, I think that's all we're going to get done today. I'll try and schedule you in some more practice time. Just pop a copy of your timetable in my pigeonhole, okay? Yeah. Thanks, miss. What is a pigeonhole, exactly? And remember, practice makes perfect! <sighs> uh-huh. Huh. I wonder what all that was about. Did Chupin really fail GCSE maths repeatedly? A scandal! Scandal! Oh, no! <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we already got a new scene. So if another one comes up, I'll bring you in, guys. Um, it's Pancake Day, and a female voice has graced my presence, and I can't help but feel like it might be our sweet little blonde Patim. Even though I've, like, not called her at all or hung out with her, she's, like, very thankful about my music club contributions. At least I'm assuming this is Patim. Ah, oh, Rosie! Patim! What are you doing there, girl? I see that business is going well. Oh, hey, Patim. Uh, this is kind of new, us meeting outside the music room. Ah, uh, yes, well, the music room is rather out of the way. I can imagine it being quite troublesome for visitors to have to travel all the way to the third floor just to see my meager display. At any rate, as I had not had any visitors as of yet, I decided I should take the opportunity to visit the other stalls. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm really sorry. I would have helped you with your display, but I kind of got roped into this. Oh, no, not at all. This stall looks wonderful, Rosie. I can tell you put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing amazing, though, really. We're only making pancakes, and I'm not even particularly good at that. Well, they look very... cute. You don't want any, do you? I think I've just about got the hang of not setting fire to anything. And we've got all these toppings to choose from. Ah, uh, well, actually... As I was making my way here, I stopped up at a few other stalls. Did you know we have a boxing club? I was very surprised. It was the first I had heard of it. And so I stayed to have a look and ended up talking to the club president. Wow, but team talking to someone other than me? That's one for the books. Really? You're not going to switch clubs or anything, are you? Ah, no, nothing like that. It's a little too late for that now at any rate. But, uh, as I was leaving, I mentioned that I would be stopping at your stall, and they were rather insistent that I bring them something back. Uh, rather a lot, actually. I I'm sorry, is that alright? Uh, of course. I mean, that's great. The more customers we get, the more money we'll make, right? And the boxing club probably eats like pegs. Ah, uh, thank goodness. I did not wish to cause you any trouble. You seem very busy as it is. There are three of them in all, and they were not especially forthcoming as to what they wanted. Something that tastes good, and with as many toppings as possible, I think was the president's only requirement for his. I'm just gonna save here. Uh... Okay, I'm still on Chupin's route. I'm like, I haven't gone into Patim's by accident, have I? Okay, I think I can handle that. What about the other two? I forget their names, but one wanted something simple, maybe lemon and sugar, and said he liked his pancakes crispy. And the other just wanted something with cream, I think. Okay, I think I've got that. I'll try not to mess them up. I'm sure they will turn out to be delicious. Is crispy, like, more than well done? I'll do a well done one, and then I can always go back. Okay, let's get cracking. The club president wanted something good with lots of toppings, right? Way to be specific. 
I'll start by cooking the batter. A nice golden brownish color ought to do it. Okay, this one should be pretty straightforward. Who would have thought I'd be showing you guys pancake stuff again? Just to get a best ending. Patim. What happened, girl? Alright. Perfect pancake. And then they want all the toppings. That's that over with. Looks like this one turned out pretty well. Okay, so that's a winner. Actually, you know what? I should just save here. Because then if I mess this one up, I can just reload this one. Okay, next up, the second guy wanted something simple and crispy with lemon and sugar, right? Can't mess with the classics, I guess. Okay, I'll do a well done one. Because I can only imagine it's just black after that, but... Pfft. Maybe I'm wrong. Gotta get that carcinogenic pancake. Just right. Okay. Lemon and sugar. Perfect! Okay, sweet. He'd better appreciate the work I put into this. Finally, the last guy just wanted something with cream, right? That should be easy enough. Pretty bleh pancake, but... Fine, you know what? I ain't gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. It's only a pound of pancake anyway. Alright. And cream. <laughs> One little dollop of cream. That'll do. I think that turned out quite nicely if I do say so myself. Well, it looks like I'm done here. I'd better take these out to Patim. Alright, girl. And done. There you go. I hope they're okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Rosie. They look absolutely delicious. I'm sure they will love them. <laughs> well, I try. Now you hurry back to your boxers. I'm sure they're missing you. Ah, uh, well, Yoan was teaching me correct right hook technique before I left. I suppose he did seem quite eager to continue the lesson. I will see you later, Rosie. I... I'm not going to ask. Nor I, nor I. Uh, okay, so I did that instead of helping Merle. And then he still came for... Oops. I gotta do his pancake. <laughs> Uh, I think I remember he just wanted, like, strawberry and sugar. Right? Okay, yeah. Phew! Okay, and I'll pick club, just in case there's a scene, like, right after. No, okay. Well, we had a different pancake scene, and that was unexpected, but pretty cute. Okay, well, I'll bring you in for the next scene then, guys. So we have Chopin tuning this guitar again. I thought I would pick a different option this time, just to see how it plays out. How about tuning guitars by ear? Wow. That's pretty damn cool. Isn't that, like, perfect pitch or something? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it would have been better if that tuner Patim found had actually worked, but this'll do for the time being. I think most guitars can tune by ear, really. Still, I don't know, isn't it kind of romantic? I'm just imagining you on some hill somewhere, tuning your dog ear at old guitar, traveling wherever the wind takes you. So I'm a hippie then, basically. Hey, you're the one who chose the acoustic guitar. I think the hippie image pretty much comes with the territory, to be honest. Huh, fair enough. I don't really mind electric guitars either, though. They took a little getting used to after only playing acoustic for so long. But I'm sure if you got something decent, like a Les Paul or a Fender or something, they're not half bad. Still, I kind of prefer the acoustic sound, you know? It just seems crisper, even with old ones like these. Makes sense, I guess. Plus, I'm assuming those are cheaper. Huh, <laughs> yeah, that might have been a contributing factor. It's kind of a shame I never learned. It gives us our lesson, and that's that. Okay. Cute, cute. So we got that, and I will continue stat raising in the meantime. Welcome to the Sound of Silence. We're in the last week of our time at school. And we're in the club room, and I'm hoping this is the big kiss, the big smoocher fest. 
So let's see if I'm right. I'm hoping. <laughs> wow, you're sounding really good there, Chupin. I mean, I'm no expert, but I think you've really improved. Huh. Thanks, Rosie. I'm just glad this will all be over soon, to be honest. There's not long to go until my Glasgow edition now. I probably won't want to look at a violin ever again by the time I'm done with it, but, uh, well. Huh? Aren't you going home? It's getting pretty late. Nah, I figure it makes more sense to stay here. At least I'll be able to practice without the neighbors threatening to break the walls down. Uh, are you off home now, then? Yeah, I probably should get going. I've got to get ready for tomorrow. You know, the Leavers Ball. I'm getting really excited, despite myself. I've never been to one before. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd kind of forgotten about it. Well, you do kind of have more important things to worry about. Oh, you don't need my help or anything before I leave, do you? I wouldn't want to run out on you at the last minute. Huh? Well, uh, you know, I never did get to hear you play the piano. Eh? H hear me out. You've heard me play plenty of times, right? The guitar, the violin. You've been really great, but I haven't really supported you at all, you know, learning the piano from scratch and all. Huh? Well, you know, it's just kind of a hobby for me. I mean, I'm nowhere near at your level. I'm sure you're great. Actually, Miss Chahan won't shut up about your dedication. It makes me look bad, you know? Heh, <laughs> well. Uh, anyway, I mean, I don't want to keep you here, you know, since you have stuff to do. But I'd really like to hear you play just once. And, I mean, this is pretty much the last chance we're going to have, since everyone will be so busy tomorrow. Uh, I guess. You're really setting yourself up for disappointment, though. I've only been playing for a year. Well... What do you say we play together? I mean, I can't play the piano, but I could always accompany you on the violin. And that is practice for me too, right? Well... <laughs> Five minutes, please. It really mean a lot. Well, since you asked so nicely, I'd be happy to. So give a girl a little warning next time. I'd have rehearsed! <laughs> Aww. You have to be that close to play the violin, though. <laughs> okay, when you're ready. H huh? Oh, I'm starting? Okay, here goes nothing. Man, that sounds really good. Huh, <laughs> see? I don't know what you were so worried about. Huh, he's right. I guess all that time I spent at the music club really helped. Aww. What beautiful music we make together. Chopin really is amazing. There's no doubt he'll get into Glasgow. But... I don't know if it's this depressing music, but... It's only really just hit me. After tomorrow, I'll be done with school for good, and we'll be going our separate ways. Who knows when I'll see him again after that. I know Glasgow isn't far, but... Will he even want to see me once we're not at school together? I don't even want to think about it. Chopin's looking a little wistful, too. I wonder if he's worried about the audition. I'm sure if he plays like this, he'll be a shoe in <sighs> Well, I guess there's not much I can do but stop thinking and enjoy the moment. Who'd have thought I'd end up playing alongside Chopin Marshallare? Eh? Milani. Girl, Milani. Phew, I actually made it through the whole thing. Are you okay, Chopin? Uh, yeah. Um, Rosie, I... Huh? Give me that kiss. Woo! <laughs> What's up with these boys surprising me with kisses? Oh, she closed her eye this time, though. Her eye. Her eyes this time. <laughs> she wasn't too shocked for too long, like with Marius. I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to just sneak up on you like that. Uh, I was pretty nervous. I think I might know just how you feel. I, uh, I should let you get going. You have to get ready for tomorrow, right? It's a shame. I really wanted to see what you'd look like all dressed up. Eh? You mean you're not going? 
can't. I'm getting the train to Glasgow tomorrow morning, and my audition's in the evening, so I won't be able to make it back in time. Uh, I'll come out to Glasgow, then. I said I'd be your moral support, didn't I? You can't go all the way out there to audition and miss Lever's ball, too. I... don't think that'll work out. Do you know how expensive it is to get tickets on the day? W well uh... Thanks, Rosie. I really feel like I can do this thanks to you. I can't really explain it. I'll be back from Glasgow soon, and we'll have all summer to see each other, right? <sighs> you can't just kiss and run like that, you know? You'll give a girl the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the best idea. But I enjoyed it. I'll... See you later, Rosie. Good luck. I think I kind of enjoyed it too. But that's a super, super secret. Don't tell anybody that I admitted to that in my thoughts. Ugh. He'll make it back, girl. All right. La Dauphine. We'll just pick the dress that we know works. Uh, 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 take off your hat, girl. Now we're talking. Right, here we go. <sighs> I've looked all over this place for Schupen, but I guess he really isn't here. I wonder how his audition went. I'd ring him, but what if he's in the middle of a performance right now? I'd never forgive myself if I blew his chances. Guess there's nothing for it. I'll wait a couple of hours and try calling him then. And hey, maybe I'll save him a few hors d'oeuvres, too. Ah. Oh, Patim! Oh, Rosie, thank goodness! You look so cute in your dress. I was beginning to think there wouldn't be anyone here I knew. Oh, hey, Patim. I wasn't sure if you were going to come. Ah, uh, yes, well, I wasn't two minds about it, about it, really. I wanted to see you and your lovely dress... And it really is lovely, of course. I knew it would be. But being here now is making me realize how few people at this school I actually know. Well, to be fair, you haven't been here as long as everyone else. And I don't know all that many people either, really. I'm glad you came, though. It wouldn't be right to leave without saying goodbye to you. Oh, Rosie. I never thought I would be sad to leave this school, but now... I suppose you never know what you have until it's gone, as the saying goes. I'll miss you most of all, of course. Aw, Patim, you're making me blush. Perhaps, if you like, we could see each other over the holidays? Though I don't know how much there is to do in North Maine. Yeah, definitely. We've got months before uni or whatever, right? I'm sure we'll figure out something to do. Well, I look forward to it. Thank you for everything you've done for me this year, Rosie. I don't think university will be the same without you. Uh, I should let you get back to your friends. I wouldn't want to monopolize all of your time. But I'll be around if you need me. Okay, sure. I'll be here. Though you know you're my friend too, right? Stop putting yourself down, Patim. Sweet, sweet Patim. Oh, this thing's going on forever. I can't believe we're only halfway through the night. Still can't complain. I wonder where the others got to- Ah! Whoops, mind out there, love. I'm trying to have a dance here, know what I mean. What, what, what? Please tell me that's not wine you've just spilled all down my dress. Are you calling me a filthy drunk, eh? Eh, I resent that. It's no crime to have a drink every now and again. But in the spirit of the season or whatever, I guess I'll forgive you. Just look where you're going next time, all right, love? I, what, what just happened? Wow, Rosie, what happened to you? I didn't think I'd have to tell you to lay off the booze. Are you okay? Your dress looks like it's seen better days. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Excuse me while I go and hide in the toilets for the rest of the night. I'm going to look a right idiot waltzing around in this thing now. Hmm. Lucky for you, I might have a little something tucked away for just such an occasion. It pays to have a friend with connections, eh? Something tucked away? You don't have a spare dress in your bag, do you? At this point, I wouldn't even question it. Not in my bag, no, but time's a-wasting. Do you want me to help you out or not? 
Uh, sh sure. You're a lifesaver, Merle. Huh. <sighs> After an entire year of this, I'm not even going to try to stop you. But this isn't going to end well. It'll be fine. Aha! See? I knew there'd be a ton of dresses stashed away in here. I mean, they might be a little oldy-worldy, but beggars can't be choosers, right? I don't know. Is it really okay for me to wear one of these? I mean, these costumes look like they were pretty expensive. And besides, your own cousin put time and effort into maintaining these costumes. We can't just waltz in here and steal them for some party. They must have cost the department a fortune. Oh, dis, have a heart. It's poor Rosie's last day, and here she is looking like she's been stabbed and dragged through a hedge. Hey, hey. Don't you want her last memory of this fine establishment to be a good one? And besides, I know Rhett got half of these from charity shops anyway. I doubt they'll be in any worse condition after Rosie's been dancing in them for a couple of hours. Huh. I guess that was a little selfish of me. You do deserve to wear something that doesn't smell like a brewery on your last day, Rosie. Well, when you put it that way, I guess nobody would mind me wearing one for just a little while. Perfect! I have just the one. Get those arms out, Rosie. We haven't got all day. Hey, don't I even get to choose? Uh, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, I guess. Oh, it's pretty stuffy in here in this thing. I might as well go sit on the balcony. And besides, the fewer people see me wearing this, the better. <laughs> Aw. Uh, well, this night couldn't get any worse. My dress is ruined. I've got to wear this stupid thing. I wonder if Shupin's edition went well. Maybe I should ring him. But what if he's in the middle of the performance? Hey, down here. Sh Shupin? I, I can't believe it. I thought you were in Glasgow. Oh, uh, well, it was pretty close, but I managed to get the train back. I couldn't go without seeing your dress, now could I? Aw, oh, so romantic. Ah, uh, speaking of which... Well, you should know that this isn't what I turned up in. It's a long story, but... Ah. I was just going to say, you look really beautiful. I, uh, I'm glad I came back. <laughs> oh, that's right. How'd your audition go? I really wish I could have been there. Well, you know, if you wanted, I could always give it another go. <laughs> Ooh. A private performance. <laughs> Aw. So, uh, the main reason I came back was to tell you. I think I... I think I'm in love with you. I think I've loved you for a long time. I just wanted to tell you. I just need to know how you feel before I leave. I just... couldn't face not knowing. And I'm saying all this while our lips are smooched together. Because... I took too long to read it. Oh no. <laughs> I... I'm pretty sure I love you, too. So then, you'll come to Glasgow with me, right? Uh-huh! Over the summer, at least! I'll play for you every day, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey! Well, with an offer like that, how can I refuse? The emo one. <laughs> Really? I don't know if I would call Shoop an emo. I don't know, he's too, like, good-natured to be called emo, in my opinion. Oh. How cute, though. And so, my first and final year at North Main College came to an end. I'd say it was a wonderful year overall. My A-level results were none too shabby, but unfortunately not enough to get me into the uni I wanted. Still, a mid-tier uni's not so bad, right? I tried to go for a higher tier. It wasn't quite enough. Chopin and I met up pretty much every day over the summer. I could never get enough of his guitar serenades. I'm trying to convince him to send his music off somewhere, but for the time being, I guess I don't mind it being for my ears only. He was accepted to study music in Glasgow. I always knew he had it in him. His dad's shutting up shop, so Chopin's finally able to follow his dream with no regrets. It's been pretty dull going to uni in North Maine, so I make sure to get up to Scotland and visit him as much as possible. I'm practically living in his dorm. Here's hoping it doesn't affect my grades, eh? All in all, my time at North Maine College isn't one I'll ever forget. Who knows what the future holds? 
It's a little exciting just thinking about it. That best ending, though. So cute. The emo one. <laughs> Hooray! We did it, everybody. But we're not done with Lucky Rabbit Reflex just yet. Oh, no. We have a dual ending to get. That's right. We're going to revisit Marius. And we're going to try and get both him and Shupin to love us. So that should be pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how that's going to play out exactly. So if you guys are interested to see that as well, I hope I shall see you over there. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.